Hello and welcome to today's video where we are taking a look at Asana and Monday.com and answering the question, which is the better project management tool? Now, when it comes to managing projects efficiently, the right tools can make all the difference. In this digital age, two names often come up in discussions about top project management software, Asana and Monday.com. Both platforms have their strengths and cater to a little bit different needs, making the decision less about which is best overall and more about which is best for your specific situation. While these softwares can essentially, in their own way, do the same or similar things, how they get them done and the user experience varies quite a bit. So let's take a look at what makes these platforms similar as well as what separates them so you can choose which is the better project management tool for you. Now, if you wanna get started with these, there will be links down in the description to get started with either platform. The first thing we're going to look at in this comparison is budget. What is your budget when it comes to a project management software. Both of these softwares charge on a per user basis, so this will definitely affect your budget depending on the size of your team. Like most other softwares, both Asana and Monday.com have monthly and annual options to choose from. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pricing structure for both of these softwares, starting with Asana. Okay, so if we come over here, we can look at Asana's pricing pages, and they have three different different plans. There is the personal plan, which is free forever. And they have the starter plan at $10.99 per user per month build annually or $13.49 per user build monthly, as well as the advanced option. So this comes in at $24.99 per user per month build annually, or that jumps up to $30.49 per user build monthly. Now, for most of you watching this, you're probably going to want to get started with the starter plan here. It allows you to collaborate with up to 500 teammates, which for most of you watching this, this is probably going to be more than enough. And it also gets you access to some different views, which we'll get into here in a little bit. But these different views allow you to just view your data, view your projects, view your tasks in a little bit more visually pleasing way. So you get access to the timeline view, the Gantt view, as well as other things like the workflow builder, project dashboards, and so on. Now, something else to consider here when choosing your Asana plan is how many automations per month you plan on using. Here on the starter plan, you get 250 automations per month. And for some of you, that might be more than enough. And for some of you, you might go through that in a week. And if that's the case, then you're going to want to jump over to the advanced plan here, where it goes up from 250 automations per month all the way up to 25,000 automations per month. Now, one other thing to note here is between the starter and the advanced plan is the advanced plan comes with time tracking. So if you have contractors on your team and you want to keep track of their hours, then you're going to need to upgrade to that plan. All right. Now I've taken a look here at Monday.com's pricing and they have one extra plan compared to Asana, but they have a free forever plan and that gets you up to two seats. They have a basic plan and that comes out to $9 per seat per month billed annually. Then they have the standard plan, which comes out to $12 per seat per month billed annually and the pro plan, uh, which is $19 per seat per month build annually. Now, if we go ahead here over to the top right, we can toggle the monthly pricing and we see uh, the, the pricing changes there. Now, one big thing to note uh, in the differences here between Asana and Monday.com is the number of seats. So if we go back and look at Asana, these are just the pricing per seat and you can add one seat on top of the other just for however many seats or people that you need. Now, Monday.com, you you choose your team size. And if we look at this drop down, it goes from three to five to 10 to 15 to 20 to 25. So if you're someone who has a team of six or a team of 12, you're going to have to upgrade to the next highest number of seats and pay for all those seats, whether you use them or not. So again, if budget is a big constraint, then this is definitely something to be aware of. Now, taking a look at the different plans here, for most of you watching this, you're probably going to want to get started here with the standard plan plan. Now, the reason for that is the standard plan is the first plan where you get automations and integrations. So again, similar to Asana, uh, you get a number of automations per month. In this case, on the standard plan, you get 250 actions per month. Another reason you might want to start with this plan is again, just access to more views. You get access to those timeline and Gantt views as well as calendar views as well. Now, moving on up to the pro plan, if you did want to upgrade, 
trade, you get a few more views as well as that time tracking. And again, automations go from 250 per month all the way up to 25,000. Something else to be aware of when choosing your plan on monday.com is the amount of storage. So on the free plan, it, you only get 500 megabytes of file storage, whereas the basic plan goes up to five gigabytes. Standard goes up to 20 gigabytes and the pro goes all the way up to 100 gigabytes. So monday.com has more plans to choose from, but the two similar plans to Asana are both cheaper than Asana's pricing. So this alone can be a game changer, especially if you have a large team. For instance, if you have a team of 100 people, that $5 difference comes out to $500 per month difference or $6,000 a year in savings. Okay, now that we've looked at the different plans and pricing structures of both, let's go ahead and take a deep dive on both of these platforms so you can see what the insides look like before making a decision. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at Asana first. So if you wanna get started with Asana, this is what the kind of start page will look like. Let's go ahead and hit get started. And you can either sign in with your Google account or your company email. Okay, so after you get logged in with your email address, it's just gonna ask for your full name and a password. And it's just gonna ask what your primary role is. We'll go ahead and select business owner. What function best describes your work? Go ahead and select project or program management. We'll go ahead and it's asking what your main objective in Asana is. We'll go ahead and select project and process management and hit continue. And now it's asking to set up your first project. So we'll just call this sample project and hit continue. And then just asking what layouts work best for your project. We're gonna go ahead and look at all this stuff in depth in just a second. So we'll just go ahead and hit continue and we don't need to add any team members. So let's go ahead and skip that for now. So once inside Asana, this is what you're met with. So kind of taking a look at the overall structure of monday.com as I feel like that's going to help you really just get a feel for Asana. We're gonna come up here and hit home. And I really like Asana's homepage here. It just seems very intuitive and very simple. You have your different projects here as well as your different tasks and tasks assigned to you, different goals and people on your team. Moving down the line over here on the left, we can go ahead and click on my tasks. And here are all the different tasks that are assigned to you. So if you're working in a large team and these projects have a lot of different people on there with a lot of different tasks, it can sort of be overwhelming. So if you want to look at just the stuff that's assigned to you, coming up here to my tasks is the way to do that. And from here, you can go ahead and look at some different views. So right now we are in the list view. We can move over to the board view. There is the calendar view and we can go ahead and change these up as well. So if we wanted to go from a week view to a month view, we can sort of look at everything on a little bit broader scale here. Moving down the line over here, we have the inbox. So this is where any messaging happens, which is another nice thing about Asana is that it is a little bit more dedicated to the messaging side of things. Monday.com has its own version of that as well, but I like the sort of dedicated just clean inbox here on Asana. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna jump down here to this sample project that we created on startup. So this is really where the action happens inside of Asana. So we have our project here and within those projects we have different tasks again um, I, it's just a very straight to the point view here in this list view but we can go ahead and change things up to the board view and here this is like a status board so we have to do doing and done we can also add sections here and just move things along another view here is the timeline view and with all these views if you're unfamiliar with project management tools uh, is this is dynamic so if we go ahead and move this task here which is currently from the 10 to the 14th, we can go ahead and move that to the following week. And if we come back here to list and we look at task three, we can see that those dates shifted as well. Now here within the sample project, it creates a dashboard for us. And again, this is a little bit different than monday.com. Monday.com has dashboards, but you have a little bit more flexibility and customization with that, which if you need that, that's great. What's nice about Asana is right here, it is just ready to go right out of the box. You can see completed tasks, incomplete tasks, overdue tasks, your total tasks, as well as just some charts to sort of visualize how this project is moving along. Then we also have the calendar here. Again, we can change that from week view to month view. And then we have workflows. So this is a way that you can automate your team's process and just to keep work flowing. We're not gonna get super in depth on this here today, but this is a very powerful feature inside of Asana. And lastly here, we have the messages views. And this is where it'll keep all the messages related to this project here within this project container, keeping everything together. So that is just 
just a brief overview of Asana, kind of taking a look at it. Now, just to kind of finish off this, you know, brief introduction of Asana, let's go ahead and just add a task within here and just kind of show you around. So we'll call this task four. Now here within this view is probably the easiest place to add more fields is what they call them here in Asana. So if we click on here, uh, we can select from different field types. So there's single select, multi-select, date, people, text, number, formula, ID, time tracking. If we click on show more, uh, there are some several other ones here that we can add as well. So that is just a super brief overview of Asana and kind of what it looks like on the inside. Now let's go ahead and take a look at monday.com. So if you click the link down in the description for monday.com, it's going to bring you to this page here and we can go ahead and click on get started to create a new account. Similar to Asana, you can log in with your Google account or your company email. And let's just go through the sign up process here really quick. Then it's going to ask you uh, what brings you here today? Work, personal, school, nonprofits, what best describes you, business owner, how many people are on your team and how many people work at your company. It's going to ask what you'd like to manage first. We'll go ahead and just select product management, go ahead and hit continue. And we'll come here to project management for what we'd like to focus on first. And then it's just uh, getting you started here. So it's just asking you what you'd like to call your first board. We'll just call that board one. And those are fine for now. Okay. So once we get signed up for monday.com, this is what it looks like on the inside. Again, just to give you a brief overview of kind of where everything is at on monday.com. If we click on home, this brings us to the home page where we can see your private tasks, any recently visited boards, docs, or dashboards. And then you also have your update feed or what they also call their inbox right here. And then you can see any other workspaces that you have below that. Again, similar to Asana, they have a my work section. Again, if you are on a big team with lots of team members, as well as just projects and tasks and everything going on can get a bit be a bit overwhelming. So coming to this my work section here, you can see the stuff that is just assigned to you. Now sort of how monday.com works is you have your workspace sort of at the top level, and then you can create different boards within a workspace. So we have this main workspace here, and we have this initial board that it sort of set up for us. Uh, but if we hit this blue plus sign, we can come over here and add all sorts of stuff. And all of this is going to be under the this main workspace. So let's go ahead and just hit new board, we'll call this project management board. So like I said earlier, essentially, Asana and monday.com can do all sort of the same things, they just do it in a little different way. And they call things by different names. So we have our project management board here. And within these boards, we have different groups. So we can sort of group things out differently. Now up at the top, we have our main table view. And if you want to add a different view, you come up here and hit this plus sign. And you can choose from all of these different options. So let's go ahead and just select the Kanban board. So you can sort of see how that works. And here it just automatically created its own Kanban board based on the status because that is the column here that makes the most sense. We can also come in here, hit the plus sign, select Gantt and sort of get that timeline view that we sort of saw earlier. Now, one area where monday.com really shines is it's just customizability. And the first instance I want to show of that is in the column section. So with Asana, there was sort of a limited number of columns that you could choose from with monday.com. There are a lot more they kind of break them out by their essentials and then super useful. And if you hit on more columns here, you can choose from a lot of different columns here to really customize this to your businesses needs your team's needs, um, so that it is a very custom solution. So to create a dashboard in monday.com, it is not found up here in the views, what you're going to want to do if you want to create a dashboard is you come up here and you hit this little plus sign and we'll click new dashboard, we'll just call that new dashboard for now. And from here, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to choose which boards you want to connect. So we'll go ahead and choose board and we'll just select that project management board for now. So now anything that we are creating here, any widgets that we're adding are going to pull from that board. So let's go ahead and just add a widget and we'll just select a chart widget. And here it just automatically created a chart widget based on whatever column that it figured would make the most sense. So in this case, it shows the status column. Now, if we come in here, we can go ahead to settings and customize this further to our needs.
Philippines. So to wrap things up, Asana is known for its simplicity and focus on collaboration. It's designed to improve team communication and coordination. With Asana, project managers can easily assign tasks, set deadlines, and get updates. Its user-friendly interface ensures that team members stay on track and can manage their projects without a steep learning curve. It's particularly strong in workflow creation and integration capabilities, connecting seamlessly with over 200 apps like Slack, Dropbox, and Google Drive. Monday.com, on the other hand, appeals to users looking for robust, feature-rich software that handles not just task management, but comprehensive project planning. Monday.com offers detailed visual project tracking in a highly customizable format, which can be beneficial for teams handling complex projects with multiple phases and multiple stakeholders. It really excels in automation, data visualization, and scalability, making it the better option for larger teams or projects that need detailed reporting and tracking. It's not about what the better tool is, it's about what the best tool for you and your business is. So again, if you're looking for something ready to go out of the box, Asana is probably going to be the better option. But if you want a completely customized project management software to fit your exact needs inside of your business, then definitely go with monday.com. It might seem a little bit intimidating at first, but it's going to grow with you and your business. And in my opinion, is the one that most of you should probably go with. So don't forget to check out the links down below to get started. These really help out the channel and allow us to keep making free content just like this. So thank you so much in advance if you end up using those links. I hope this video was valuable to you guys. And if you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of how-to guides and tutorials dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs start their business. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.